Alright YouTube, what's up? It's uh I Touch iPods, Chris here. And um I got a video for you guys to do, actually a video tutorial, as requested by so many of you in my last video which I put up on how to make phone calls on your iPod Touch 2G for free. Um I asked you guys if you wanted a tutorial and you said yes, make one, go ahead. I got such a great response and I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. Um today is Christmas Eve by the way guys, so Merry Christmas. Um happy holidays. Um, just want to say a couple things before I start this video. Um, pay attention to that. Um, <laughs> um, I talked to, uh, I Stop Motion, the person who had won my last contest. Um, he was nice enough to send me a, a PM over here on YouTube just to let me know that he received the case. So that's nice, I got there. Thanks, that's good to know. Um, and yeah, I don't really think I have anything else to get after you guys right now. So let's get on to the, uh, video. Alright. So to make free phone calls on your iPod Touch 2G, you do not have to have a jailbroken iPod Touch, because you guys know, as of now, there is no jailbreak for the iPod Touch 2G. So very simple, what you want to do is you want to unlock your iPod. Um, and now what you want to do is you want to head over to the App Store. I'm right over there. And then you want to go down here and search. And you want to go ahead and search for Fring. F-R-I-N-G. Right there. Once you find it, give it a click and go ahead and install it. It is a totally free application um, from the App Store. So just click install and confirm it and um, you will have it on your iPod Touch. So then, um, just give me one second guys to lower my brightness. I saw it was just a little bit too bright. So then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll over until you find Fring. Mine happens to be over here. If, if you go ahead and click it, it will open up. Um, you won't have anything right now because you have not made an account with a uh, SIP VoIP application. Um, as you can see, there's an X up there with a loading symbol. Um, that will turn to a check mo checkpoint and uh, stop spinning when it signs you in. Uh, mine is signing in because I do have an account um, that I did make. So here's what you guys are wanna, gonna want to do. Now you can just set your iPod off to the side for a little bit, and you want to you want to use your computer now. I have a description link. Uh, a description link, a download link in the video description over there. Um, it leads to a SIP VoIP application. Um, if you guys are wondering what that is, it's basically just calls over Wi-Fi. Um, you just want to go to that link. Just click on download. It's a very basic site. Um, it'll say download right there. It'll go. It's right up there, and it says it download. Um, then the little box will come up. You want to click save file. Once you click save file, let it save to your computer, and then it will finally load. And then you just want to set it up like you'd set up any other program, any other normal program. It'll lead you through the setup process. Then what you want to do is it'll bring you up to a screen where it asks you to set up an account once you're done with that. Um, you can set up your account. Um, it, it, it'll it ask you to put in a bunch of personal information and stuff like that. I recommend not doing that. I didn't personally. All I did was put in um, my name and my ID, what I wanted my ID to be from this spring and from this application over here um, it's called uh... what is it called it's called VoIP Stunt um, what I did is I just put in um, my first initial then my last name and then I just left all the personal information blank and clicked next and it let me go through so hopefully that will work for you guys too don't worry about putting any personal information in there then it'll just bring you to a regular page once you're done it'll it'll actually bring you through some like test calls and stuff like that on your computer um, kind of like Skype, if you guys have Skype, it'll bring you through some test calls. You can just go next to those if you don't want to. Um, and then it'll bring you to your account page, and you can just totally X out of that now, and um, you don't need it. Just remember your password that you had set up for that VoIP stunt, and remember your username. So now that you're done with that, it's a very simple process, guys. This is all totally free, so don't worry about that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Now what you want to do is you want to open up your Fring again. Go over to the bottom where it says More. Now once you have your, your account set up, then you want to go ahead to add-ons and now you want to go ahead and click where it says SIP SIP um, I'm click OK you want to go ahead and click SIP and then it'll give you this list of um, little SIP VoIP, SIP VoIP clients you want to go ahead and click on that one VoIP stun right there that's the one you just used and here's where you want to put in your user ID and your password which I'm going to do very quickly Uh, just put in the password you set up at the account on your computer. 
and then the password. And then down here it'll say something along the lines of sip.voipstunt.com. If yours doesn't say that under the proxy, make sure you put that. sip.voipstunt.com. Then what you want to go ahead and do is click go down here. It'll say subscribing, which just signs in. And then you will have a little checkpoint if the, everything there went A-OK. -okay. Then you can go ahead and click back. And as you can see, it does not have that red X in the spinning dial, which means you are now signed in. You can now go to the dialer and dial your phone number away. But first, what you need to do, obviously, you need to have a pair of either, you need to have a microphone that will plug into the bottom of your iPod. You can search for those on eBay very easily for around $30. Or you can go ahead and pick up a pair of headphones that have a built-in microphone. For this for this video, I'm using an example. I'm using the Pro Cable in-ear headphones that Rad Tech hooked me up with. You can also use those Radius bass earphones that I had with the microphone. Um, just any headphones that have a built-in microphone. Um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and now plug in your headphones or your microphone, whatever you have. These are around thirty to forty dollars over at RadTech.com. Let's see what time I'm at. Six minutes. All right. Um, just let me grab these really quickly. I'm gonna put in one headphone. One headphone. Guys, just for some of you speculating really quickly out there that this may not be my iPod Touch 2G. Let me pull it out here. This is my iPod Touch 2G, not an iPhone. iPod, you see it says it right there. Just to stop all haters and stuff like that. That saying, oh, that's an iPhone. You just, why do you have it in the case then? This is an iPod Touch. You see no headphone thingy right here or whatever. There it is, guys. Headphone slots down here. Alright, so let me just put that back in there. Oh, this is a Cena case of running. Alright. Now I'm going to hook that back up. I have the earphone in my ear right now. And here is the microphone. And now I'm going to dial right here on this dial pad. You can dial whatever number you want. I'm going to dial my cell phone, which is right here. I'm not going to show you guys, obviously, because I don't want you guys to have my number. But if you're wondering, this these are free calls. I believe it's unlimited because I've used this a lot so far. And it's totally worked fine. I haven't gotten any alerts or anything like that. And I never put in any personal information, so you don't have to worry about getting charged or anything. Um, all right, let's see what's what else do I have for you guys? Oh yeah, also this is pretty long distance. I called my friend over here on YouTube, LS Hacks. You may know him. If not, go check him out. He makes some cool tutorials um, and reviews. LS Hacks. He lives in Colorado. Um, I called. We were talking last night on Skype, and we decided to see how far this would reach. And I called him using my iPod Touch. And it called him over there in Colorado. We were talking over this. So that works long distance, guys. It's really cool. So go ahead and experiment. So what you want to do now is put in your phone number, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Make sure you put in the area code as well. With a 1 in front of it, like you always do. Like 1, whatever your area code is. I put in my number. Don't you guys to see it. Then what you want to do is go down to there. See where it says SIP all the way over there in the bottom left corner? You want to go ahead and click that. And it will say calling. It's ringing right now in my earphone. Let me just close that so you guys can't see my number. Alright guys, I don't know if you saw a little skip right there, but I had to stop this because something happened. And I that's why I'm just adding this part on to the end. And now I'm just calling it again. Um, I just put in my number again. It is in still spring. I just, I'm just putting in my number again and I'm pressing SIP. As you can see, it is calling. Let me close that up so you can't see my number. And there it is, guys. Check it out. Coming up as restricted. You guys can't see that, but it's coming up as restricted. So let me open that. I'll answer it. Alright. So let me see here. It says call in progress right now where I'm covering up because my number's there. Now just let me uh, close this really quickly. And uh, see how I'm talking to the mic. You guys can hear the echo. Of me talking into the mic. Alright. So there you go. That's proof that it works. Um, um, <laughs> just thought I'd let you guys see that. Um, yeah, just favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. It works free.